This is the Hockey Nation Live September 19th update on the Detroit Red Wings. And this past weekend, the Red Wings have been in the Traverse City Prospects Tournament, faced off against two teams this weekend. We saw them in the first game win the first matchup against the Columbus Blue Jackets Prospects. It was quite the night for Ryan Pickney. He had four goals in that game as the Red Wings prospects beat the Columbus Blue Jackets prospects five to two. Uh, also was interesting to watch Elmer Soderblom and his first game, excellent goaltending by Kosa, as well as the uh, second goaltender Oak from uh, Saginaw in the OHL. So interesting tournament so far for the Red Wings. We see a lot of Simon Edmondson. We see Kirill Tuchiev. We obviously have some players that aren't here, and we have to keep that in mind as well, which we keep forgetting because they're they're playing over in Europe already, which includes first overall or first round draft pick Marco Casper, who would have been something would have been, that'd been great to watch, but he uh, I think got his first point in the SHL already, so he's already committed to Rogel in the SHL. Uh, Theodore Niederbach is also there, as well as William Wallander. So unfortunately, I don't get to see those players, but we saw, you know, Simon Edvinson. He's big, obviously, and he can really skate. I think he's going to need some time in the AHL after watching him, though, guys. Like, he's he's a little bit raw, actually. <laughs> he's good with the puck. He makes good decisions. I think defensively, one-on-one, he would be, you know, he's going to be a very, very good player. So don't get me wrong. And he may end up on the Detroit Red Wings roster after the main training camp. But what I saw in the first game, he might have some trouble against NHL um, forwards. That's going to be interesting to see. Albert Johansson played excellent. He looks like he can be in the NHL not – well, maybe now. (laughs) He might start in the AHL, but, man, he can really skate. He's physically mature. He's very tough one-on-one. He's not a real offensive defenseman. But he is he is very capable of carrying the puck and moving it with a good first pass and then joining the rush. We see, unlike Simon Edmondson, who does step in and create offense from the blue line. So those are some kind of interesting highlights from that first game against Columbus. Again, um, Kosa played half the game. Sebastian Kosa, the top um, goaltending prospect of the Detroit Red Wings, and he played very well. He stopped all the shots that he faced, I believe. He faced. I think they faced 18 shots. <laughs> and then uh, Oak came in the second half. Um, Detroit wins that game 5-2. to two. The second game of the weekend, Detroit started out great, and it looked like they were going to run away with this. They had excellent goaltending gold from Jan Bednar. Um, the Czech-born goaltender played excellent. He stopped everything. Uh, they were up, I believe, 4-1. to one when they switched and then they end up losing the game five to four. <laughs> so uh, Oak came in again and didn't play so great in that second game. So in the first game, Ryan Pickney, who was a free agent walk on by the, you know, as I mentioned, scored four goals. He was kind of quiet in this game, but the, the story was probably Kirill Tuchiev and Elmer Soderblom both got on the scoreboard. Tuchiev had a goal and two assists. He was excellent. He's the, the Belarusian player. He started the season in the AHL, but he had a shoulder injury that resulted in shoulder surgery. So he pretty much missed the entire year. I think he played like six or eight games, but he is a very, he's a small player, but he's highly skilled. Unlike him, Elmer Soderblom is not a small player. He's listed at six foot eight and 249 pounds, but he is very, he looks lean still. And that's what coach Danny Cleary had said coming in. He said, and he's ripped. And his game seems to be, he's a good skater. He's got good skill. He's really hard to get the puck off because of his reach, and he protects the puck real well. And in front of the net, particularly on the power play, he's very effective. He's very tough for the goaltender to see around. You can see that his stick is a target, and he's he's really dangerous in front. He's got soft, quick hands in front. So he might start in the NHL. I think it's going to be very tough to keep this guy out of the NHL. He is not perfect. However, for a sixth-round draft pick, how big he is, how skilled he is, this is a phenomenal future for this guy. Uh, He's going to be a really useful player. The guy I want to also mention in both games that I think has been excellent is number 74, Cross Hannes, the uh, Portland Winterhawk star player from the WHL. Cross looks 
excellent, highly skilled, very smart, runs the power play from the half wall. He's been excellent for the Detroit Red Wings prospects. He's got points in each game. He finds seams. He opens up seams. He's an excellent passer, and he creates offense when he's on the ice. This might be an excellent pickup for him. How does that project to the NHL? I'm not sure, but at the very least, he's going to be a very good AHL player, and I, I will be curious to see. You know, he's going to have someday, like not in the not too dear distant future, he might be a player that you really look at. Now, obviously, the talent level in the NHL, particularly in the Red Wings, goes up exponentially, and he's competing for a spot against those players. But he looks very very good he's very smart he's a really quick player and he's got great instincts to get pucks on sticks all right so tonight uh it's monday september the 19th and it's the final game of the prospects tournament red wings did not play yesterday but tonight they face off against the toronto maple leafs rookies who are you excited about seeing tonight hopefully you get to watch the game and they will be online check out the detroit wings red wings twitter and uh the traverse city tournament information is also on the website of the arena which is interesting um i think it's called center ice but i will uh, post that up in the, i will post that up in the notes for the show and you can link to that and see the game tonight and we will follow up the training camp starts on the 22nd so the prospects tournament turns directly into training camp i believe it goes from the 22nd to monday i think that is the 26th and you will see the best of the prospects. I don't know if they'll bring all the prospects into pro, uh, training camp, main training camp, but this should be a very competitive training camp for the Red Wings. They made a lot of off-season moves, so we look forward to following up on that. It's going to be a busy week, guys. Um, looking forward to seeing the game tonight versus the Toronto Maple Leafs prospects, and then looking forward to all the preseason games and the practices as part of the regular training camp. All right, have a wonderful week. This is Michael Debolano for Hockey Nation and the Detroit Red Wings Weekly Report.